What's up everyone? Spencer Dog 24 here with another Porsche 944 video and today I am finally going to be using the POR 15 entire fuel tank cleaning system. Now what comes with it is two bottles of the cleaner degreaser, a bottle of the metal prep, and of course the POR 15 fuel tank sealer. Now with the cleaner degreaser, it's pretty much made of potassium hydroxide, ethanol, and butoxy, if I'm pronouncing that right. And basically what I'm going to be doing with the first bottle here, I'm going to be pouring the entire contents into the fuel tank, followed by a quart of hot water, as it recommends. I already have most of my areas already taped up, and then I just have to tape that up. And I'm going to be mixing this around the fuel tank for about 20-30 minutes, rotate from side to side, up and down, probably going about a three or four hour process front to back to get all of this done and then I'll be pouring the contents of what's in there in the bucket and then I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process with the second bottle and see how that goes. Once all that's done, I'm going to go ahead and dry the tank out, do the metal prep, follow the instructions on to a T on that one, and then finally the POR 15 tank. So I'm going to go ahead, grab my hot water, dump this first bottle in, and we're going to go from there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, open up the bottle of the cleaner degreaser. I've already taken the safety cap off of it, and I got a quart of hot water. Uh, our water doesn't get very hot here so basically I just ran uh, a little under like a quart and a quarter through the coffee maker and uh, cut it down to where it was wicked hot. So I'm going to go ahead pour all that stuff in there get the other side of the tank taped up. So let's go ahead and yeah got the cleaner degreaser. Got all the spill and stuff. And Good times roll. You know, this stuff actually smells a lot like uh, soap that you would smell at a car wash. At least to me it does. And there's the hot water. Go grab a rag, wipe that off so the tape will so the tape will seal properly. So there's really no point in doing all this if it's just going to spill out when I, when I flip it over here. So basically, what I'm going to go ahead and do, like what I've always done, is once I get the tape on here, I'm going to go ahead. Shake it around for 20 minutes or so, then, uh, then what? <laughs> then uh, lay it flat on its side, sure. And basically lay it on its back, side to side, and go through there, dump it out in there, as I already said, and we'll see where, what, uh, what comes out. So I'm not talking very well right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut the video off, and I'll come back once all that's done and I'll pour it out. All right, so it's been about three hours now and I've been shaking the tank for about five minutes. Then I would leave it on its front, shake it for five, another five minutes, back, five minutes, side to side. You see where we're going with that. So it's been about, I think this stuff's been in there around two and a half, three hours now. So went ahead and removed the tape from the top of it. I'm going to dump all this stuff out and see what we got. So let's get focused on the bucket roni here. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, buddy. There that is. Yeah, it really just amazes me how much stuff still left in this tank but yeah it 
it's such a pain in the ass to clean it out, but as long as I do it right once, I shouldn't have to worry about it. Because the last thing I'd ever want to do is half-ass something, and then, uh, you know, it, it not come out properly. Because there's, it's like, why, why even bother doing it if you're not going to do it right? So, I'm going to go ahead, let, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but let all this stuff, God. you let me, yeah, just let all this stuff drain out, I'll wait till the bubbles and everything uh, die down, and then I'll go ahead and show you what I pulled out. So, I'm going to stop the video here, and... Yeah, get as much of this stuff out as possible, and then drain it. Okay, so now all the bubbles have settled down. You can just basically see just the sludge and everything that just a few hour cleaning with the POR, the first round of the degreaser has done. Thankfully, I have another bottle that I'm just going to go ahead and do like a, a 1 to 5 ratio. And I'm just going to let that sit for, for hours. But let me see. Yeah, you guys can pretty much... My camera holding is not really good right now, but seeing if I can get a good glob of... All the stuff that's still in there after the initial cleaning that I did. So I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff in a gallon jug. And then I'm going to wash out the residual of the cleaner. Wait, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not there's no point in me washing it out. so Because then I'm just going to put more cleaner in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and discard that other stuff. Put the next bottle of the cleaner degreaser in there, do a one to five cut, and uh, shake it up, let it sit, shake it up, let it sit, on and on and on and on and on again. So I will see you after round two. All right, so I just dumped the second bottle of the cleaner degreaser in there, and this is going to be the fourth quart of water that I already dumped in there. Here's a better shot of a lot of the residual that was left over from the other one. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to start taping this up. And I'm actually going to let it sit on each side for about an hour, shaking about five minutes in between. Just so I can get as much as that cleaner degreaser in contact with it. And after that, I'll rinse it out and we'll start on the metal prep. All right, so it's been six hours since I poured the second bottle of the Marine Clean in there. So let's go ahead, dump this guy out, and see how it goes. Well, oh, the metal prep out of the way. And, you know, I've got to hand it to the people who ever make that Gorilla Tape. It's, uh, it held on pretty well. So... Even after all that washing, that's still what's coming out. And uh, it's not the cleaning stuff because that's clear. So, you know, good news that it's doing its job. Once I go ahead, get the rest of this stuff out there, just need to rinse out the tank, check to see how we're looking, and uh, yeah, I think after that we'll be ready for the metal prep, so I'm going to go ahead, get as much as this excess fluid out as possible and um, show you the results of the second clean with the marine clean so yeah it works 
So I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera off. I'll see you here shortly. All right, so after the four or five quarts, the Marine Clean, the second dose, um, surprisingly, a lot less dirt and debris has come off the bottom of it. And it's basically just uh, dirt and a breakdown of rust. Now, I went ahead, I got the tank just, just washed out, so I just want to give you a quick camera angle on how everything is looking inside of it. This is, of course, where the fuel sender unit goes in. And just give you a nice little 360 area. So this is literally just where it is. So all the dirt, debris, all the grease and junk um, is out of it as best as possible. So I'm going to go ahead, blow dry this guy out, and let it uh, sit tomorrow. I'll do the metal prep. And then, yeah, do the metal prep, get that cleaned out, and then it's definitely time for the POR sealant. So, I will see you with the metal prep. Okay, so now we're finished with the two bottles of the cleaner degreaser, and now it's just a matter of getting the metal prep in the tank, letting it uh, swish it around for about 20 minutes, and then... Uh, Lay it on its side to side, front and back, every 20 minutes. Keep it in there up to about two hours. And then so we're going to go ahead and rinse out. And after we rinse it out very thoroughly with water, we have to get this as dry as fast as possible. And the POR directions actually say to get this thing bone dry before we put the metal prep on. So we're going to go ahead. I'll pour the bottle in right now. And just like any of the other bottles. Get on here. And tape off. And we got the metal prep. Looks like uh, it's got a nice blue color to it. Not sure if you can see it, it kind of looks like Smurf piss, but we'll, uh, yeah, pour this in here. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off that area I spilled on and tape that area off. Shake it up for about 20 minutes, leave it on its side, rinse and repeat about six more times till everything's in there for about two hours, and then I will dump it out and get Dump it out, rinse it out, and get it bone dry as humanly possible. And I will see you guys then. Thank you. All right, so the metal ready's been uh, in the tank about two hours now. I swished it around for a few minutes in between letting it sit on each side for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead, pour the contents into the bucket, see what it looks like. Once that's done, I'm going to rinse this out very well. And then I have a heat gun where I'm going to dry it out, but let's go ahead and see what we got. So we got the bucket right here. Nice. This is the very first time it did not look all uh, messed up and rusty colored. Now, while I was holding it against the uh, edge of the wall there. Some of it did spill out through my not so perfect taping of this closed, but I don't I don't hear any more in there. But I'm going to go ahead and give you a better shot when those little sudsies goes down. But I'm going to go ahead, rinse it out very well, and then I'm going to put the hot air gun on it 
In the meantime, I'm going to scrape off that film of suds, show you what came out of it. All right, so I'm not sure if you can see or not, but that's, that is all that came out of it this turn, time around. Just that small amount of rust. And if we, uh, if we go through the videos, that is, that is a huge win. Um, that, yeah, that's a huge win for me. So let me get this glove off. Let me get this tank rinsed out and I'll show you where I start to heat it up. Thanks. Okay, so I went ahead and rinsed out the tank of the metal prep. I rinsed it out about three or four times just with regular garden hose water. Now what I have right here, I have a heat gun set on high and I shoved it in there so I can get it, so I can get it what? Uh, so I can get it dry as humanly possible, as fast as possible, so the flash rusting um, will be at minimal at best. So I'm gonna let this run, check on it periodically, and I will see you guys once the tank is completely dry, and we'll see how it looks then. So I let the air gun sit in there for about an hour, hour and a half, and this is actually the next day. So once it fully dried and everything, this is what it looks like after the etching has been taken care of. And I got to tell you, I am so happy with these results. Now there is like a uh, white powder over it. And I'm just going to go ahead and take the air hose out to it or uh, on it and blow all that stuff out before I start with the actual POR15 sealant and then I'll be done with the gas tank but yeah from where this tank started from to where it is right now I am so happy with these results so I will see you when I start the tank sealant alright so I'm at the final step of the fuel tank restoration with the POR15 to where I finally put the fuel sealer in and as you can see now I have the lid opened up here and I have gloves on from what I've been reading about that this stuff once it uh once it gets on your hands it, it's basically stayed on there for weeks so that is what the POR 15 looks like and all that I have here I just got a little drill a little piece of wire that I did and it says to mix it up well so we're just gonna go ahead Stick that guy in there. Just slowly, slowly mix it around. Because I'm not too sure how long. This has been sitting around for. And You know, of course, the last thing I want to do is get to the very last stage and mess up. Or get impatient. So I'm going to go ahead, as much fun as I'm sure it is watching me mix this stuff, I'm going to go ahead and mix the rest of it up off camera. And I'll be right back to the fuel tank. Okay, so now with the POR15 all stirred up, and what I went ahead and did is I got a little sandwich bag and I cut a hole in it because I'm not too sure how uh, how good or how bad this is gonna. Oh God, I I pretty much I have a feeling this is not gonna turn out very well for me. But uh, here we go. So let's go ahead and just pour the stuff in. Oh, oh, it's still in the bag. Okay. All right, that wasn't too, too bad. Um, so apparently with these POR15 products, from what I've read, is that uh, once it gets on your skin, it's, it's on your skin, so... Now the next thing I need to go ahead and do here is I'm going to get these 
gloves off and then I'm going to tape up the hole and then I'm going to go ahead and slosh the POR15 around for about 10-15 minutes and then dump the rest back into the fuel tank sealer can and see where I'm at. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes right now. I spun around all the POR15 I could. And basically, it took, I can get you down there, I me mean, over half a can. Um, so, if anyone uh, lives in the St. Augustine area, in the next 20 minutes, if you need less than half of a can of uh, POR15, hit me up and it's yours. But more importantly than that is right now, here's the yet another critical point. Um, I poured out as much as I can. I still see a little thickness in there, but that's to be expected. So I'm laying the fuel tank as flat as possible right now, um, just so any excess will dry over the widest spot of it and I put a bag underneath where the drain off is so it can, um, so it can what? So it can catch any excess that may still run off. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get this tank a bit more level so it's flat on all surfaces at the bottom and then we wait 96 hours to check the results. So four days from now, I will have a POR 15 uh, fuel tank, and we'll see how that looks. So I will see you then. All right, so it's been about three days, I'll say. Hasn't been the full four days, but it's still going to take another day of curing or for that 96-hour mark to hit. But everything has dried very well with the POR15. So let's go ahead and take a look and see the results. And I have to say is that it looks really, really good. Uh, what those bulge marks that you see there, those aren't air bubbles. It's actually drip marks because I didn't pour enough of the POR15 out. So when I laid it flat on its flattest surface to dry, there was just some excess left in this area that dripped down. So that's just drip marks, but it's fully uh, cured. So I... I could care less about the aesthetics of it. I'm more concerned about the functionality of it and it has laid down a very nice coat and it has done just such a, yeah, such a wonderful job. I mean, I, I, I am very pleased with these results and everything like that. So this was totally worth it. Um, here's another shot inside the little gas filler right there and yeah I'm a huge fan of this stuff now it coated really well went on nice and uh, cured yeah cured very well it feels nice and smooth it's totally dry you can't you can't pick this stuff off and I'm really happy I did it. It was a pain in the ass to do. It took a very long time, but in the end, it was totally worth it. So right now, I got to get this tank cleaned up. Um, I have some steel fuel line that I need to put on there, or some stainless steel line that I'm going to be replacing with the old stuff. So I'm going to get all this stuff put back together. Got a new fuel sending unit. Got a new fuel strainer. And once that's done, I got to get some... Uh, insulation so it's not rattling when I put it back down and then the fuel tank is going back in and I'm never taking this damn thing out again so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one thanks guys bye